folks, this is Adria, and yesterday WordPress released version 2.9. Today, Matt posted at the WordPress blog with a great video that shows some highlights, focus on usability, and making WordPress easy to use. So to download WordPress, yes, if you are new to WordPress, you would go here and download. But if you already have an existing installed WordPress, all you have to do is upgrade from the back end. Now, let's go ahead and see how that would look. Here is one of my test websites uh, at demowordpress.freshworkshops.com. So I have some links and different things on the side. Let's go ahead and get logged in. Now everyone gets a notice at the top that WordPress 2.9 is available. You can do an in-place upgrade right here from the back end. If we click please update now, it will say, oh, you can choose automatic upgrade, you can download it. Most everyone's going to want to do this option. If you're unable to do this option, there may be a problem with your hosting account. Uh, there could be issues with you don't have enough space, uh, those types of things. Or your files could possibly be corrupted. Anyway, here's the important thing. Before you upgrade, you need to back up your database and files. Now, a lot of people skip this step because they're not sure how to do it. And if you click, it, you can read some information about it. I've done upgrade videos in the past, and I'm going to do one today. So most people who are using WordPress are using a hosting account. And that hosting account is through a provider like, uh, we could name so many here, can't we? <laughs> uh, let's just say HostGator, because a lot of people use HostGator. So HostGator uses something called cPanel, your control panel. So this probably looks familiar to you, right? Uh, here you can manage your hosting account. Uh, you can go ahead and create email addresses, different things, right? The important thing here is that you can do your backups right here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to click on backups. And there's two items we need to back up. You want to back up your database. That's first and foremost the most important thing. Here I have two databases because I was testing things out. All you do is you click and then it'll ask you to save. Right? And then you're good to go once it's saved. So let's just save both of these. All right? And they're very, very small files. I mean, they're under a megabyte. Now your home directory may be a different story. That could be, you know, 50 megabytes, 200 megabytes. But basically you click that and we'll let that finish. All right, and my downloads have finished. So you can see here that the databases are very small, just 63 kilobit, kilobytes and 119 kilobytes, very tiny. Uh, the whole home directory is 14 megabytes, so it did not take that long to download. Uh, so now those are backed up. Now we can do the automatic upgrade. You can go ahead and cross your fingers if you want. Another thing you may want to do is go into your plugins and turn them all off. Uh, this is something that's fairly common to do with other content management systems. So you just go in here and go to deactivate and choose apply. Now you may be worried like, oh, how am I going to know which ones to turn back on? No worries. You can just go into recently active after you're done with the upgrade. So let's go back over and get that upgrade done. So here we go. Update now. Automatic upgrade. Unpacking, verifying, installing, upgrading, successful. Boom. Now you may go, well, how do I know what version I'm on? Let's go back to the dashboard. You can always see your version right here. So, folks, there you have it. That's an upgrade from 2.8.6, which is a fairly common version, up to 2.9. Now you can enjoy all the great features that uh, WordPress just keeps throwing out to us. We'll go back to recently active plugins. We'll have those selected, and then we'll activate them. So with that, folks, enjoy the new version of WordPress and keep it safe by doing your backups. Thanks.